Mr. Anderson, I'm Dr. Guy. I'm one of the cardiologists who works here and I work in the cath lab. Uh, Dr. Batten asked us to come by and see you. He said you've been having some chest discomfort and uh, wanted us to come down and take a look and see how things are going. We've taken a look at your EKG and it does look like you're having a heart attack which is caused from a blockage in the artery and not enough blood flow to the heart. So we need to talk a little bit about what we can do about that and time's going to be of the essence because while the artery is blocked, what we need to do is do something to open the artery up to try and improve blood flow and save the heart muscle. There's a couple things that we can do, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth, but what we really think we ought to do, and what seems to work the best, is to take you to the cath lab where we put a little tube up that goes through the artery. It goes up to the heart under x-ray. We take pictures of the arteries and we see where the blockages are at. Assuming that we find what we expect to, which is usually a blocked artery, we can often open that up. We'll check all the arteries while we're there, but we usually concentrate on the artery that's blocked that's causing a problem. Now we will give you some relaxing medicines. You'll pretty much sleep through this. You might be a little bit awake and we can talk to you a little bit. If you're uncomfortable, we can give you a little bit more. Usually the pain goes away as soon as we're able to open the artery up. It usually takes somewhere between a half hour to maybe an hour and a half, depending on how bad the arteries are. Our success rate of getting arteries open is pretty good. It's above 90% and um, usually that will relieve your pain, but you're going to have to be here for a couple of days. It's a pretty simple procedure. We go through the arteries right here in the crease of the leg. We'll numb that up with Novocaine, put a little tiny tube in that's a little bit smaller than a drinking straw, and then you don't feel anything going up to the heart. We'll have a big x-ray camera over you. We'll be taking the pictures of the arteries. We'll be moving the camera around a little bit. Uh, when we get all done, and we usually put a little stitch or a little plug that, that blocks where the artery, where we poke the little hole. We'll send you back upstairs to the intensive care unit. We'll watch you closely for a couple of days. As soon as I'm done, we'll go talk to your family and let them know how you're doing. Do you have any questions about the procedure? Uh, no. We are going to have a little videotape that will go through some of the how the procedure's done, and we're going to talk about a little bit about some of the risk that goes along with the procedures. Additionally, we'll talk a little bit about what other options might be available if you would choose not to have the heart catheterization done. The cath lab crew is going to be here very shortly. They'll sit down and talk to you a little bit more about this and get you all ready for the procedure, and then I'll meet you down there in the cath lab. Sounds good. Hi, Mr. Anderson. I understand that you're having some chest pain right now. Is that correct? Yeah, I am. Okay, Dr. Guy spoke with you, right? Yes. Our, okay, and you understand that we're going to take you to the cardiac cath lab right now? Yes. This is a heck of a way to start your Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Have you ever had any pain like this ever before? No. Okay, this is all brand new to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got family with you today? Yes. All right. We're going to take your family with us. We're going to go down the hall to the cath lab and we're going to make sure that they get put in a surgical waiting area so that Dr. Guy can speak with them as soon as we're done. Are you okay with all this? Yeah. Do you have any questions for me at this point? No, not, not right now. Okay, great. Let's get the show on the road and get you feeling better, okay? Okay. Thanks. I'll get you going. All right, Bill. Now we've got you onto our table and we're going to start getting you ready, all right? Okay. Okay. First thing we're going to do is put some electrodes on you, get you all hooked up to all of our wires and things so we can monitor everything that's happening during this. Then I'm going to do a little prepping down here in the top of your leg, right where that catheter is going to go in. And when Dr. Guy gets here, he's going to use a little lidocaine, just like your dentist. He's going to numb that all up, get that all put to sleep so you don't feel anything after that. Once he puts the catheters in, there's going to be no sensation or no feeling. If you get any discomfort or have any problems, you please let us know right away, will you? Yes. Okay, great. Then we can give you more medicine to take some of the edge off or take a little of the pain away or whatever needs to be done. Once Dr. Guy gets all finished, he will talk to you and he will talk to your family about what we found and what we did, okay? All right. All right, sounds good. How are you doing, Bill? Fine. Are you feeling better than we've got you in here? Yeah, I think so. Great. As Dr. Guy has told you, we did find a very tight blockage that went right down the front of your heart, and it's called the left anterior descending. We put a really nice stent in there. We got a great result. All the blood flow is restored back to the bottom of your heart. You should be feeling better as you are. We're going to get you upstairs to your room here. Maybe they'll even give you something to eat and drink. Dr. Guy is talking to your wife right now. Do you have any questions for me at this point? No, no. Okay, great. We're going to get you out of here then and get you upstairs.